Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Destiny, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to the family. Today we're going to be gardening together. I've been doing a lot of gardening, and I'm here to give you a sneak peek. It's not done yet, but I know you guys have been waiting for some insight and how it's looking so far, so that's today's video. So I'm going to start with planting some flowers first. I just finished planting my first tray, and I think I want to do another one because I have quite a few flowers that I want to plant. So. I'm gonna go into the shed, get some more trays, and let's get planted. I'm back. We've got a few Bonnie nursery pots. I think I'm gonna end up planting some more sunflowers in here. And then I have three egg cartons. I've seen people do this on TikTok and stuff, so I have a few. Let's see if the flowers sprout and do well. And I also have a actual seed starting kit from Fairy Morris, and that's what I used for my last uh, batch of seedlings, which was for my garden. So they're doing really well. I'll show you guys that in a bit, but let's plant these flowers. Three, two, one. <laughs> arguing again, arguing about something so simple. Make it clear, tell me why you're running back to him. Feeling insecure, feeling like there's more to your character. Every tear that you cry is worth it in the end. But baby, tell me, how have you not figured it out? Ooh, dry your eyes. The world can always give you reasons to cry. Well, understand, you're stronger than you know. you grew you would finally know that you don't have to be somebody new Just let go and fall into the 
the garden that you grew You would finally know That you don't have to be somebody new So this is what was left over. I'm gonna end up putting the herbs that I planted here on these trellises. And I bought some planters from Dollar Tree that are gonna go on these. So I'll show you guys those once I put them together. And then I also have this little planter stand that our friend Maria gave us and we just spray painted it. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna try and put some herbs in there too. And this is how the garden's looking right now. Everything seemed to have survived. And I'm really excited about it. I know that some of these might be looking a little overcrowded, but my idea was to see what grew. And if it grew too much, then I just cut it back and keep the strongest ones. So just to make sure I have a good harvest and don't end up, you know, wasting my time and energy this year on really trying to get my garden situated. But it looks so good right now. I'm so proud of myself. And these little plant sign label things are so convenient. Also from Dollar Tree. Sponsor me Dollar Tree, honestly. But <laughs> this is what everything looks like up close. You can see the little names. And they seem to have survived the night. Let's see how they grow. And I'll definitely be keeping you guys updated. Also just giving everything a good spray. Oh my god, do you guys see that rainbow? Oh, I think I ruined it by, by zooming in. But I don't know if you guys can see it. 
but from here I can see a little rainbow just slightly watering and I have my hose on like the low setting because I don't want to like overwhelm the plants with a really harsh you know water pressure so this is what I'm doing let's see if I can reach it I really don't want to have to open this door. nice what's up i'm looking a little crazy right now but it just rained really hard and i did notice some holes on some of my leaves so i'm gonna spray down my plants and i'm also gonna put down some straw just to make sure that the moisture stays in the soil because tomorrow is gonna be 97 degrees and i want them to survive so i'm gonna spray down some of these leaves got this little sprayer thing off of Amazon and I put some water, neem oil, and Dawn dish soap. So hopefully this ho this helps get rid of whatever's making holes in my leaves. But I think probably like once a week I'll spray this down but let's get into putting down this straw. And I got this straw from Lowe's. I think it was about like 13 something, or 14 dollars. Here's a better look. This is my kale. Excuse all the straw. <laughs> but this is what she looks like. I'm checking the undersides and I can't seem to find anything off the bat. Oh! Hi. I see something. I don't know if that's like a regular fly. An aphid. Oh man. But this is what it looks like up close and we're gonna spray her down with this. <laughs> So I'm gonna just do a little time lapse of me finishing up the garden and then we'll get to spring. All right, this is the final product. I actually think it looks really good. Not too bad. I also sprayed down all the plants with the holes. I didn't spray down every plant because, you know, I just want to treat the ones that visibly have some problems going on. So hopefully that neem oil spray helps. I'll check on them in the morning, see how they're doing. But supposedly it's best to do it 
during a cool night so that it doesn't burn your plants. So let's see how they do by tomorrow. But I think she's looking pretty good. Good morning, guys. My eyes are still opening. I'm here checking in on the garden the next morning. And this is what she looks like. She's looking beautiful. There hasn't seemed to be anything wrong with the plants. They're looking so good. And I think the neem oil worked. I don't see any type of burning on the leaves. I think doing it at night is the best bet. And I was also able to find the aphids underneath the leaves. If you guys saw in the, you know, last video. When I flipped to the underside of the leaf, you saw one of them. So I think at nighttime is when you see them best. Well, at least for me, that's when I was able to see them. And each other time I looked under the leaves, I couldn't find them. But hopefully we get the situation under control. But nonetheless, everything's looking a-okay. I might go in there and retrain some of these peas because they look like they're hitting the floor a little too much for my taste. And I did also already harvest those radishes, so that's just like an empty spot. I'm debating if I should plant something there or just leave space for everything else, but we'll get to that once we get there. But this is how she's looking. And today is the 21st of May, and I think I planted this in the beginning of May, so she's looking beautiful. Okay, we're back. Same day, just later on. I think it's the 21st. Yes, yeah, the 21st. And I just, you know, last night put this straw down and I noticed this little empty spot I had harvested the radishes from. So I'm going to plant these two flowers my grandmother has. I believe they're pansies, that's what she told me. So I'm just gonna put them in there just to add some color and attract some, you know, beneficial insects like pollinators, hopefully. Um, I wanna get some different flowers too, but this is what we have, so I'm gonna use it. And just put it right in there. All right, we are done with the pansies, and this is how they look. I think they look so pretty, and next to everything else, they'll definitely add some color. Once they get a little bit more bigger, they still have a few little blooms left, so let's see how they start looking. Today is the 23rd of May. Let's check in on the garden. Hi, little guy. Oh, you're so pretty. Here's the flower and herb trellises looking good. Miss Peace Tree, she's gorgeous. And look at the growth on our leafy greens. I'm so excited. I think the straw really did help this garden bed because just look at them now. That tomato plant is going good. I already see some flowering. And I did get some more bamboo trellises just to help train these um, cucumbers and tomatoes a little bit better in the back since they're now getting way bigger. And my broccolini is just going up there. I'm just going to let her do her thing. But that is what we look like today. And I'm so happy with how she looks. Especially with these little flowers on the side. And we're going to get rid of this netting once we put the door. And try to make a little bit of a better situation for this. So stay tuned for that. <laughs>
so that is what my garden looks like. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds in the background still here. Look at that guy. Sing for me, Bruno. <laughs> this is so much fun and I'm here to learn. So all this has inspired you to start your garden and I'm definitely gonna update you guys on how everything looks and all that jazz. But that is it for today's video, guys. I love you guys so much. Make sure that you're hitting that subscribe button so that you are supporting me in this little gardening journey. Look at me getting all of this done by myself. Like, are you kidding? I'm so proud. If you guys want to continue to see my journey, make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future uploads or gardening videos. The subscriber that I'm going to be shouting out this week will be in the next slide. And I'll see you guys next week in the next video. Love you. Thank you.